Welcome to the video tutorials of mechanisms by Mekanis Miller. In my previous video the working principles of a needle valve has been explained. One of the biggest shortcomings of the needle valve is that it restricts the flow rate in both directions. When you use a needle valve for speed control of a piston of an air cylinder in forward motion, it will also restrict piston motion in return stroke. You can solve this problem by adding a quick exhaust valve at the inlet port of your cylinder. I will do an animation of this in near future. The other solution to put a check valve in tandem with needle valve such that, check valve will be open in the return stroke of piston. Uncompensated flow control valve we are going to describe here is actually repackaging of needle valve and check valve combination in a single valve. In this animation, the high pressure flow going toward the cylinder is shown with green color, and the low pressure return flow is shown with blue color. By changing the needle position we can change the flow rate going toward the cylinder. This way the forward speed of the piston of a cylinder can be fine tuned. On the other hand, the reverse flow goes over the check valve and needle valve combinations. This prevents the fine tuning of the return flow, since we do not have any control over the flow passing through the check valve openings. Flow control valves have many applications, but they are mainly used in meter in, meter out and meter in out circuits. I will do animation of these three important circuits in near future. Also shown in here is a circuit symbol of a flow control valve. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. If you enjoyed this video and found it to be useful please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. We appreciate your support.